nation's capital, the Secretary of Education lays out her proposed education budget for the upcoming school year. In her plan, all federal funding for Special Olympics would be cut. WNCT's Dylan Huffman has been looking into this and seeing how it would impact Special Olympic groups here locally. Betsy DeVos's budget cuts about $7 billion from educational programs, including the $18 million given to Special Olympics. Do you know how many kids um, are going to be affected by that cut, Madam Secretary? We had to make some okay. difficult decisions with this budget. Again, this is a question of how many kids, not about I the budget. I don't know the number okay. of kids. It's 272,000 that kids. I, I, That's all. I'll answer it for you. That's okay. No problem. It's 272,000 kids I mean, that are affected. Special awesome organization, one that is well supported by the philanthropic sector as well. Sure. Tense moments in Washington as Secretary of Education Betsy DeVos tries so to defend also, her educational uh, budget cuts, which includes cutting all funding for Special Olympics before a congressional subcommittee. She says Special Olympics programs get a lot of money from donations, so they don't need the federal money as much as other programs. Here at home, Eric said LASIK is the co-coordinator for a Beaufort Hyde Special Olympics. He says he was shocked when he heard the news. Our local programs would maybe not directly be um, affected. I could definitely see opportunities for us to go places could be affected because it may cost us more and we may not you know necessarily have funding to make sure we can go ourselves places like abu dhabi where washington native jonathan willis just won the bronze medal for the 50 meter freestyle so for them to cut funding is, is very alarming Eric says people need to reach out to their local representatives and let them know that this is not okay. But on the other side of the aisle, there are some in Washington who stand behind Secretary DeVos. If I was being asked, how could you possibly be the Secretary of Education by, and then there's a long list, I just feel like um, I appreciate your willingness to do the job. A White House official pointed out in that meeting that DeVos donates her a $200,000 salary and said that Special Olympics has benefited from that. Some of the programs that could see cuts are $7 million to the National Tech Institution for the Deaf and $5 million cut to a program that prints books for the blind as well as after school activities for kids in poverty. The budget does offer a $5 billion tax credit plan to help kids attend private schools. In the studio, Dylan Huffman, 9 on your side.